Let me show you why the Insta360 X4 is the best camera to take on your travels. I'm going to show you how you can create an epic travel video with these seven unique shots. All you need to create these shots is the Insta360 X4 and an invisible selfie stick. You can edit in the Insta360 app or Studio Desktop program. And I've selected these shots because they're super easy to shoot and edit. Even a complete beginner will be able to create these. Shot one is the slow-mo walk. Make use of the Insta360 X4's improved slow motion options and create an epic slow motion walk. You can shoot this shot by yourself and it can make for an epic start to your travel videos. Change the video mode in the camera to 4K at 100 frames per second. Attach the X4 to your invisible selfie stick and extend it so that it's just behind but also next to your feet. But also make sure it's high enough above the ground so that it doesn't touch it. Essentially the camera is going to be pointing diagonally behind you. When editing all you need to do is frame the shot so that your feet are in frame but to the side. Mark your first keyframe and then just follow that pattern as the video continues, making sure that your feet remain in that position. Shot 2 is the back transition. This is a creative way to transition between two distinct areas if you have a travel companion. Extend your selfie stick to its max length and hold it high above your head. Have your companion start walking in front of you. When they're at least 10 meters in front of you, start walking towards them and slowly lower the camera until the front facing lens is pressed against their back. In your next location, you pretty much want to do the opposite. You start with a front facing lens pressed against your companion's back. Now have them start walking forward and as they do, you start moving backwards and slowly raise the selfie stick until you're holding it high above your head. Reframe the first so that the camera pans slowly towards the person walking, making sure it ends as the camera hits their back and the image is completely dark. Now you're going to want to crop the next clip to the point when the camera is covered just as you're about to move it away and you can reframe it so that it slowly pans up and around while you're moving backwards. Crop the two clips correctly then it should be a really seamless transition. Now guys, if you want to learn some of the more advanced techniques on how to get really unique effects with your Insta360 camera, then check out my Ultimate Insta360 video course. I've got nearly 70 lessons teaching you everything you need to know about this camera. And I go into a lot more detail compared to any YouTube tutorial that you'll find. Check the link in the description because I'll have a discount for you. And you'll also be able to read everything there is about the course, including some reviews. So if you're ready to get really creative, check that out. But let's continue with this tutorial. Shot three is the epic walk. This one is super easy, but also very effective. Just extend your selfie stick to its max length and hold it out directly in front of you, pointing to the ground. Now you just start walking with the camera position maintained in front of you. It's almost like you're walking a dog. The most important thing about this shot is finding the right location to do it. You can see how effective it is in this location where there's plenty of interesting features on either side. It will make the shooter look like a giant. In the editor, reframe the video so that you are in the center of the frame continuously throughout the video. And adjust the field of view option to reveal more of the scenery around you. Shot 4 is the ultimate selfie. The Insta360 X4 really lets you take your selfie game to the next level with these moving and dynamic selfie shots. Just hold your selfie stick out in front of you and record for around 20 seconds, choosing somewhere that has some interesting feature or building behind you. In the editor, you can adjust the field of view option so that you get an extremely wide angle shot, which includes much of the background behind you. You can also start with the camera zoomed in and slowly panning outwards to reveal the scenery behind you. Shot 5 is the fake drone. This is one of the more popular Insta360 shots and thanks to the invisible selfie stick effect, you can create a drone-like shot in areas that definitely don't allow drones. Just extend your invisible selfie stick to its max length and hold it as high as you can above your head. Now start slowly walking around for at least a minute, which should give you enough footage to create your shot. In the editor, you just need to add slight panning and tilting motions to mimic the movements that a drone might make. Or you, can, or you can reframe it so that the video is pointing straight down at you to create a kind of bird's eye view effect. Shot 6 is the smooth cinematic shot. One of the best things about 360 cameras is the combination of perfect stabilization and the fact that it captures everything around you, allowing you to reframe and have extremely smooth panning motions. 
you find yourself in a particularly special location which you want to capture cinematically and you don't want any shakiness that you may get with a phone or another kind of camera, then all you need to do is either raise your camera in the air so it's away from your body using an invisible selfie stick, or if you have a little tripod, you can even just put it down on the ground, moving away from the camera and let it capture the whole area around you in 8K. You don't actually need to physically move the camera much, if even at all. Now in the editor where we add those smooth panning motions, you can make the movements slow and steady by setting keyframes that are far apart on the timeline. Click the line between the keyframes and select in to out for more cinematic movements. Even from the same single video, you can create several of these panning motions looking in different directions and it will look like it's been shot with a different camera each time. Shot 7 is the pull through. The Insta360 X4's slim size means it can fit in places that other cameras can't. You can create what looks like a nearly impossible shot by guiding your camera through gaps in buildings or railings, fences. Use the keyframes in the editor, create a sweeping motion and time that with the camera gliding through these gaps. Um, a bonus shot which you've probably seen before is the tiny world or the tiny planet. But, but I'm going to give you a tip of when best to use this kind of shot. If you find yourself somewhere high up, one of the best shots you can create with this camera is the tiny planet effect. You just need to, once again, raise your selfie stick as high as you can in the air and record for 10 to 20 seconds. In the editor, make a keyframe right at the start of the video and, and select the tiny planet preset to activate the effect. You can also start with the video looking fairly normal, mark that first keyframe, and then mark another one deeper into the timeline and select the Tiny Planet keyframe, and the video will slowly pan into the effect. This just works really well high up because it allows you to see the whole scenery around you. And finally, putting it all together. You can combine all of these shots in the Insta360 Studio and add text, transitions, music, and to make a full travel video. Transitions in particular will make your video look far more interesting than just sticking with simple cuts. Remember that you can also add video from your phone or another camera in the Insta360 Studio if you want to combine all of these together as well. Let me know what you think of these shots or if you have any questions about the X4, I'll be happy to help. But until next time guys, I'll see you around. Bye!